Hi, and in today's short video, I'm going to show you how to crop an image in Word. So if we just go to insert, picture, stock images, I'll just use something from this selection here. Let's go down to the bridge and we'll just click insert. Now, when your pictures are imported, often you can't move them around. I'm just going to quickly correct that and then we'll go ahead and crop it. So select the image, go to picture format, go to wrap text, click on the drop down and select in front of text. And now we can move this image around. So if I just wanted to crop a lot of this sky out to the left here, all we need to do is select the image, go to picture format, and all the way along here to the crop tool. Click on the drop down and just select crop. Once you've done that, you'll see that these black markers will appear in the corners and the sides of your image. This will allow you to either hover over the corner, your cursor will change, you can click and drag, and this allows you to basically crop anywhere. Alternatively, if you grab the ones in the middle of the sides, you can simply pull the image up and down or pull this preview so you can see what you're cropping out. If you want to keep the ratio of your image, so let's say, for example, it's a six by four or five by seven. If you click on the corner, hold down the shift key, you can see wherever I drag my mouse, it will keep that ratio. So if I just go over here and select this side icon here or this sidebar, I'm just going to click and drag it over. Now, as I drag, you can actually see the dimensions of that image, the width and height dimensions. So you can crop to wherever you like. Once you've got that crop, all you need to do is hit your enter key and you can see now your image has been cropped. Now, if you wanted a particular dimension with this shape, just select it, go to picture format, go along to crop and then go to aspect ratio. If you go to aspect ratio, you can see you've got all the different dimensions here that you may need for your project. We've also got crop to shape here, and this allows you to place your image into something like a circle or triangle. So if I want to place my image into a circle, if I just click circle or oval, you can see how this has been cropped into an oval. Now, the reason it's cropped into an oval is because my original image was a rectangle. If I wanted this to be a perfect circle, I would have to crop this to a one by one square ratio first. So if I select it, go to picture format, along to crop, click on the drop down, aspect ratio, go down to one to one. Then I can move this image around to crop anywhere I want to. Let's crop out the top bit there. Then just press enter. Go back up to picture format, go to crop again, click on the drop down, select crop to shape. I'm going to select the circle. And as you can see now, my image is a perfect circle. And you can do that with any of the shapes contained in that menu. If you then wanted to adapt this shape slightly, maybe put a border around it, all you need to do is to either double click on it and it will bring up a separate menu, which I'll show you in a second, or select it, go to picture format and along to format pane. And this is the menu you're looking for, format picture. If you go to this bucket icon here, and go to line, click solid line, and as you can see, we've just got this borderline around the outside now. You can customize that line if you go to color, click on the drop down, let's just move this across. If you go to color, you can select from any of these colors. Let's go to a bright orange. And then we can also adjust the width here. So you can use these up and down arrows, and this will adjust the width of that borderline going around the outside of your image. As you can see, if I click up, you can see that borderline around the outside is getting thicker. You can also adjust the transparency of that line. So if you just want it to be a little bit faded, you can do. And you, also, and you can also change the lines around the outside. You can have double lines and you can also have dotted lines. So it's quite versatile and you can really go to town on customization. You've even got the option to use a gradient as well. These gradients are really easy to use. Now you can see we have this slider across here. We have light here, darker here, and slightly lighter here. You can see the effects it gives us around the outside of this image, but I'll try and show you a bit clearer about how this works. So I'm just going to get rid of two of these markers. So I've selected this mark, you see I've got an orange outline. 
press the minus button, it will disappear. The same with this one and just press minus. And now we're just left with two colors. If I change these colors, you'll see how this effect will show up around your image. So if I select this marker here, click on color and I'm going to go to orange. And then if I select this one, click on the drop down and I'm going to select blue. Let's go to this blue here. Oh, no. Let's select this blue here. There we go. Now you can see over here, this is the way it's affected my picture outline. And if I move these sliders, and let's just make this a little bit bigger. There we go. If I move these sliders, you can see how that affects the outline. And of course, you can add more markers. If I click add, I can add a marker here. Again, I can change the color, let's say red. And now you can really see how this can affect your outline. And you can go to all of these customization icons here. There's presets here, and if I click on them, it will completely change your gradient. Now you can change the way it will look. You can just scroll through these. These really will be more effective if you had an entire shape. So linear will just make the colors go from left to right or right to left. Radial will make the colors go from the inside outwards and so on and so forth. So you can really play around with all of these and adjust that outline. So that's just a quick tutorial on how to crop your images in Word. I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please subscribe and have a great day.